What's good YouTube? My name is Sora and today we are going to be talking about the D23 trailer. I'm not going to be going into a full depth analysis like I did with the other trailer. I'm just going to be talking about like the important things. But basically, today they revealed a brand new trailer at D23 and it showcased that Toy Story will be in Kingdom Hearts 3, which was mind blowing to the entire community because everyone knew there was a problem with Pixar and Disney and Square with the whole like, um, I don't know, it was like basically it was a problem that Pixar movies, Pixar game movies couldn't be in Kingdom Hearts, but now they have come to an agreement and allowed Toy Story to be in Kingdom Hearts, which was absolutely mind blowing for everyone because no one thought this was going to happen. And it was amazing. They showed a perfect amount of stuff footage of Toy Story. They full, showed a full blown cutscene. They showed two battle sequences, which showed two key blade transformations. And apparently, we're going to be able to go into mechs, which is very interesting. I'm going to see how that plays out. But this video is not going to be long. It's just going to be just telling you about what's inside the trailer and all that. So, you guys can see, of course, the trailer is most likely playing at the background of this. But it's very nice to see a Pixar movie in Kingdom Hearts because it's rare, like I mentioned. And the trailer did a good amount. And it was very strange at the very beginning of the trailer because there was basically just 15 minutes of Coliseum and a cutscene, a battle scene in, um, tw in Twilight Town in front of the mansion. It was just weird. Um, for me, when I was like, watching this trailer, of course, I was watching it live and. It looked kind of strange. I was like, what's the words, of course? But the moment the text came out and everything made more sense because it was the same text that we saw in the other trailer, the one that had a whole bunch of Kingdom Hearts. And it stated, don't, oh crap, oops, said it wrong. Don't assume your dreams are just fantasies. Be, if you can imagine a world, believe in it and dive in. And then it's cut to Toy Story, which if you really think about it, makes a lot of sense because as kids, we always wanted to um, think that we're toys and jump into the world of a toy. Hence, Toy Stories was created. And it makes sense because if you think, if you don't, you don't assume your dreams. You don't assume your dreams that like, they're not possible. If you can imagine yourself being in a toy, in the toy world, believe that you can and just start your journey from there. And it makes perfect sense for Kingdom Hearts because you don't assume your dreams are fantasies. Like Sora, he want he always dreamt of going out into the world, and he one day he put his he put his dreams to the test, and it happened. He has been exploring worlds ever since. So all um, Kingdom Hearts one, and it's very amazing. I really do like it. Of course, the storyline will be just exclusive to Kingdom Hearts. So most likely the story won't be between Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4, Toy Story 1 and some other movies of Toy Story. It's very great. I really do like it. But I don't know what to say. It's just amazing. I can't wait to see what um, the purpose of Toy Story is because at the end of the trailer, Xehanor, um, young Xehanor says that there is darkness that lost and the only way to figure it out is this world this world has a hint it tells them it gives it gives them a hint of what they're doing and it doesn't emphasize a lot because it's just short but it's really amazing i really do love it and i'm thinking there's most likely be bigger videos coming up about this a cutscene because um he literally says the way hearts connect in this world can provide a clue and we're, when you think of Toy Story, you think of friendship and like bonds that will never be broken no matter what and sticking with someone all the way to the end. Hopefully, I'll make a maybe I'll make a theory video about it more to on later on when the community has like calmed down and stuff. But like, yeah, it's really nice and especially at the end where we got the little cherry on top with the revealance that it will be coming out in 2018 so all the memes that it will be coming out 2019 2020 can stop because we got a year and i'm really hoping that it will come out in like most likely will be coming out in late of 2018 like kingdom hearts 2.9 did so i mean 2.8 my bad uh, uh, so so many kingdom hearts names it's just like in my head but like hopefully it comes out likely if we can get it earlier that'll be really amazing that'll be a great way to start off the year but yeah i'm really excited for this game hopefully we will get more worlds i would have liked to seen footage of um big hero 6 and more of tangled 
kind of what I was hoping for, but this was honestly the was even better. And I really hope that we can get stuff like this more in the future. But anyways, I'm going to leave you guys off for now. My name is Sora and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.